Hello, welcome to Basic Scratch episode 11. Basic Scratch is a series of tutorials about the Scratch programming language and it's based on the book called Basic Scratch available at the Amazon Kindle store. First of all, I would like to, to thank everybody that has watched or downloaded the Basic Scratch tutorials over the last month. Today's topic will be the operator's block of code. The operator's block of code is in the scripts area and it's colored green and you have several blocks. I'll start at the top with the first block which is an addition block. You can add numbers. So for example, I can take a loop block, say hello for two seconds and I'll move it to the right and I can fit or embed the addition block which is available at the operators category I can fit it in the text field of the say hello block now I can add two numbers for example I can put 2 plus 2 and when I double click it it should tell me the answer as you see it tells you that it's 4 you can change the number again for example I'll put 3 and it should tell you the result which is 5 the same thing with the addition block you also have some other blocks like you have subtraction you have multiplication you have division I'll show you an example of the division block which you can also embed in the text field of the say block and I'll type for example 9 divided by 3 which will be a whole integ integer which is 3 and when you double click on the block it should tell you the result which is 3 and as I say, said it will give you 3 now let's put a number that will give you back a fraction and see what the result will be so for example 9 divided by 2 which is 4 and a half and let's see what the result will be click on the say block and 9 divided by 2 as you see will be a number with with the decimal numbers it will give you a fraction now if you want an integer or a whole number you can also use the operator block to do this if you scroll down to the bottom of the operators category you will see the round block the round means that it will round whatever number you put in for example if I type in the in the round block if I type 4.5 and embed it in the C block and click on the C block it will not give you back 4.5 but it will give you a whole number let's try this and see what it does see it will round 4.5 to 5 you can also embed another block into the round block for example I can embed the division block in the round block for example the, the 9 divided by 2 so I have two blocks I have the division block which I have fit in I have embedded it in the round block and then I embed the round block including the division block into the say block and when I click on it so it will first divide 9 by 2 which is 4.5 but it will round it to the nearest number which is 5 and it will give you the result 5 another interesting block in the operators category is the pick random 1 to 10 block w what it does is it will give you back a random number between the two numbers that you put in for example right now you have number 1 to 10 so it will randomly give you back a number between 1 to 10 let's try it out again as the other blocks you can embed it in the C block let's click on it and this time it will give you 1 but I'm pretty sure the next time that we click on it it won't give you back 1 it will give you another number between 1 and 10 let's try it out see this time it gives you 2 let's try it one more time this time it gives you 6 so randomly it just doesn't go if you 
it, it, it doesn't keep increasing one two three it just gives you back randomly let's try it out one last time seven so randomly okay another interesting block is the join block if you want to say something if you, if you want to say two things for example I want to say hello and then I want to say for example um, my name and two separate say blocks so I have first hello for two seconds then it will go to the second block which is my name for two seconds now instead of doing it in two two separate blocks you can join them you can embed this in, in a say block and you can say uh, I'll, I'll give you I'll just give you one one other example with user input so I'll ask first what's your name and then I will say whatever you input so I will say hello and whatever you input as your name okay let's try it out so what's your name I'll put my name Eduardo click enter and it will say hello Eduardo you could you could have done this the more complex more difficult way and and just say and have it in two say blocks hello and then the next block would be say the answer the input but instead of having two separate blocks this makes it easier because you just join that's why it's called join so you join it with the answer with the user input and you only need one block instead of two so it just makes it easier other operators block are the comparison or you have like less than you have greater than and uh, you can use these for example in an in an if then statement so for example give you an example can you use these comparison blocks in, a, in an if if statement for example I'll take this if then first we'll ask the user for an input for example uh, what's your age and then whatever the user inputs we can incorporate it in one of the operators blocks so for example we say if whatever the user input which will be stored as we all know in the answer variable so if the answer is less than 10 do this say you are young um, and then if the answer is not less than 10 so if it's bigger say you are getting getting old. Let's try it out. Double click on the script. Ask what's your age. So I'll put, for example, nine, and then it will test my answer and say, oh, nine is less than ten because that's what the operator's block says. So it will say you are young. If I had given an answer bigger than ten, it would say you're getting old. Let's try it out. So I press enter. You are young. Let's try it one one more with an age larger than ten. So I'll give twelve. You are getting old. So those are basically the operate the most important or that I think are important. Of course, there are other operator blocks available, but this was just a short introduction. What you can do with the operators, which come in very handy when used together for example with other blocks in the other categories like the looks category or the control using it with for example an if then statement or a say block
Thank you for your attention. I hope this was informative and helpful. Feel free to leave any comments. Thank you very much for watching. Till next time.